Hello, Lynette here in Australia, and welcome to my channel, Bells Uniques. I'm here to show you my latest journal that I have created. It is Outlander inspired. I made up some kits that are in my Etsy shop available for sale, and I had a few pages left over that wasn't quite the full kit, but I wanted to use them so. I had experimented with the cover of this journal here just with the different textures and then the paint as well so I also at the same time had got some molds and had made up this beautiful little dra dragonfly so it just all sort of came together and this is what I've come up with so I have this beautiful tassel which I just tie bows into my tassels uh, with the ribbons here and hang them on the edge there and this beautiful tassel has all the material that I've used in the journal so it complements it beautifully and I've made some little extras we've got some leaves because of course Claire is a doc nurse then doctor and is right into the medicinal healing once she goes back in time we've also got some beautiful beads and the dragonfly which is very important to Claire and Jamie um, a little flower there and there's also a key somewhere which is also pretty significant because he makes their her, her wedding ring out of the key but I'm not sure where that is at the moment it's on there somewhere so I've also got a key down here I've just tied the journal up with some be beautiful lace and added a little bit of extra lace to the edges of it and in here I've got a little pin with a key, a larger key. And as I said, he, he makes their, her wedding ring out of the top of the key. And a little love, because this is probably one of the greatest love stories of all time. And of course the dragonfly. So that's the enclosure. So the texture on this journal is absolutely beautiful. I just fell in love with it and love the colours also. It's quite organic looking, but it's also really special with the bronze and the different textures in there. We've got plenty of bits and pieces coming out the sides with some antique lace that I've got and lots of bits and pieces at the top there as well. We've got some more beads and pearls. The pearls are significant because Jamie gives um, Claire his mother's pearls and so there's also a pearl button there as well. So inside we have the forget-me-not flower which is the first flower that is quite significant in the story because she goes back to the stones in her regular time and it's the forget-me-not flower that she's gone to find and that's what has ended up drawing her through the stones because she was there and then we've got some dragonflies some mushrooms of course and a drawing that i have done myself this is just a copy of it but um you know any outlander lover loves jamie and we have my business card and a note from the bookmaker on how to use the journal this gorgeous little dangle there with some more pearls so we've got Susanek this is from my kit and she's gone back to 1743 
a little bookmark there which comes on the other side as well and we have Beaton's Chest of Horrors and a list of what she said about the Chest of Horrors that she finds in Castle Leoc, I think it is, where she becomes the doctor there for some time. There's a little flip there. So I've used some different pages through here because I ran out of the kit. There were, as I said, I only had a few pages. So this one reminded me of when they were in France. So that's why that one's in there. A beautiful center for the first um, signature. And uh, there's some pages here as well that have got some flower imprints on them that I've made. There's another beautiful little paper clip there with a little love heart and a little bead there on it. And I've put this lace one in there because it just reminded me of their time. Here's some of the plant that I've actually Mod Podged, so it's all sealed in there and all safe, but just quite beautiful. Little flip out, doily lace, some um, all the things that are through the, the first book that they've used, that Claire has used, and the medicinal uses for them. Um, one of the sayings here from the book this beautiful embossed paper has just made me think of her with the flowers in that time, that generation. A little flip out there. Here's two other little drawings I've done that I've copied to go into this beautiful journal. One of Claire and one of Jamie. And lots of pockets and plenty of writing space. Some more mushrooms, a little map there. Oh, and this is a poppy from my garden, which I have Mod Podged over, so it's all sealed in. Comfrey was something that she's used. And lavender, of course. Another little pocket there. Um, the dragonfly saying from Jamie. And another gorgeous little bead. It might just be easier to take that off. With some, this one's got a key and a cross on it for their religion. There's a, quite a little bit of religion. Plus, <laughs> Claire's always saying Jesus Christ, um, Roosevelt, whatever it is she says. So beautiful butterflies and writing space there. This is, oh, it's a little flip out there. You can go in there. Um, a little raggedy with this little, the use of vinegar that they have. And that's a little flip there underneath the dragonfly wing. Some mushrooms, and we've got Lily of the Valley, the garlic, more mushrooms. There's some writing space and another dragonfly. Of course, we had to have some leaves. And then there's the other side as well. So that's quite a beautiful little raggedy there. So we've got quite a few cards. We've got the cherry bark, apple thorn, and the vinegar and some little extra bits there with space all the cards are backed with tea dyed paper and most of my cards have a bit of sewing at the top there there's another little bag some more tags there's another pocket some beautiful flower imprints there and we have some more tags, mushrooms, and witch hazel, which is used. And some more dragonflies with some little sayings. There's 
quite a few little sayings. Um, this one is from Jamie. Your face is is my heart and the love of you, my soul. So, oh, here's another little drawing that I've done and taken a copy of. And it's another little open with the Celtic thistle. And as I said, these are all on my site and available for purchase but they're just some little bits that I had left over and thought that I would use them and put this little journal together I'm tempted to keep it myself to be honest because I just love it so the medicinal uses for mushrooms they're good for immunity um, garlic and we've got the Valerian and another dragonfly saying and this kind of reminded me of when um, Jamie was at the printers actually and this is just beautiful old wallpaper type print that I thought was just gorgeous so we've got a couple of pockets here and the other side of that so I've popped another larger photo of, well, a drawing that I've done myself. I just hand um, penciled them. And I've popped this in. It's a, a, It was a watercolour painting that I originally did, and I've just put it into grayscale, and it's of the horse and its eye. And I've popped that in because Jamie is just so amazing with horses, I thought that was quite appropriate to go in there as well. And some more mushrooms, a little pearl um, button there on the paper clip. Some more paper that it's gone in with some flowers. Oh, and this is one of my poppy imprints. There's a little, oh, it opens up that way. And some beautiful writing ledger that Claire would use. Oops, we've got a bit of a stickage. So we've got another bag with the lily of the valley. The belladonna plant and some more tags that can all be written on the back of. Ants and eggs were also mentioned in the first book that we used medicinal, medicinally <laughs> that one doesn't open and that beautiful embossed paper with another tiny little I mean you can't get too much of Jamie can you and another saying that he says don't be afraid there's the two of us now so and the Scottish thistle I love the greens and this was quite appropriate. I thought this was beautiful with the love hearts and the leaves in it. It's just, I'm not sure if you can see it very well. There you go. Um, I just thought that was gorgeous and very fitting for this journal. So that is my latest journal with my last bits and pieces of what I had laying around of my outlander kits my sussanic kits i think they're actually called and i really enjoyed making this and as i said i'm very tempted to keep it myself but i think it will go up on my etsy store so thank you for watching please subscribe and keep an eye out for the next video